it's hard, it's hard to see, it's hard to feel. A fresh coat of paint covers graffiti that has upset a community. On Monday, Blue Valley School District leaders found a trail of vandalism, including racist and anti-Semitic statements spray painted on and in the press box at the school's football stadium. The school's principal says the actions don't reflect his school's true spirit. One of my immediate reactions was another one. I can't believe there's another one. Aaron Zazulia is among the people tired of acts of anti-Semitism in the news. Zazulia leads the local Jewish Student Union, which helps Jewish teenagers at 10 metro high schools explore their heritage. I want whoever did this to, to learn and to, to, to realize their mistake. Blue Valley School District leaders and Overland Park Police aren't sure if this was the work of a student or somebody else. If this keeps getting, getting out as like the cool thing to do or the funny thing to do or or the right thing to do if people really believe that, that that's true, then everyone's lost. The vandals also damaged equipment inside the stadium. Homophobic slurs are also part of the vandalism as seen in video given to Fox 4 News. I'm disgusted, yeah. Henry E. Lyons leads the NAACP chapter in Overland Park. He knows most of the school students are not racist, but someone should answer for this. You have to punish the people who do it because that's, that's what we have to do. You have to show people you can't get away with things like this. Blue Valley School District leaders continue to look into this situation. Overland Park Police spokesperson John Lacey tells me that for now, police are investigating this as incidents of burglary and destruction of property. Proving this to be a hate crime may be tricky, but it's not out of the question, according to police. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.